though it's changed the way millions of people may have met and fallen in love. But just because you know how to type does not mean you have mastered online dating. Relationship expert Timmy Gibson is here with tips on how to date online successfully. So this can actually be intimidating for a lot of people because when you open it up, there are so many options, so many people. Yeah. So how can we actually find the right person? Yeah, I mean, it, 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 you have to be diligent. You know, I, I tell a lot of singles, it's, it's kind of a numbers game. It's, it's like sales. The more people you talk to, the more opportunity you're going to have to sell the product that you're selling. Mm -hmm. So with dating, it's you're selling yourself. And so there are some important things to remember when you're selling yourself. Uh, but it really is a matter of getting out there, being around people, you know, swiping. If you know, I have a friend that says, "Well, I never get any dates." I'm like, "Are you swiping? Like, you you have to do the swipe. You, you have, have to, to play do the that. Game you to have to do get it. Get some attention. Yep. Yep. Okay. And can you meet anyone online? Like, are, are there literally every sort of person right now? I mean, from what I've been, from what I've heard, yes. I mean, there there, I, I do a lot of weddings, mm -hmm. and nowadays, I would say. 50 to 60 percent of the weddings I do, the couple will say, I say, how'd you meet? Mm -hmm. We met online. And I'm so shocked by that, right? Because yeah. you'll be at, at dinner with a couple or something and they've been married a couple years and they're like, we met on Tinder, we met yeah. on X, Y, and Z. Yeah. And so apparently it does work yeah. for people. And they're still embarrassed. It, for whatever reason, people are a little embarrassed. You know, like, how'd you meet? We met online. Like, what? <laughs> it's like, I met online. And it's like, it's fine. I would right. say it's, it's fine. Yeah, it's ha however you meet. It is, it is what we do today. Okay, so how long should we actually talk with someone before we go and meet them online? Because right. you have to see if your personalities are gonna click, but you also don't want it to like fizzle out. Right, great question. So I, I'm old school, so mm -hmm. I think the true, to be able to really understand someone, you gotta meet them in person. Okay. So I would say after three days to a week, you should probably meet in person to get a real sense and a real vibe mm -hmm. for who that person is. Because you might be talking online and through text, think, oh, this person's wonderful and then you meet them and not so much. Or honestly, you might think, ah, eh, they're not that great with their words, but then you meet them in person and, and their whole person captures your heart. Mm -hmm. You know, there's something about their whole person that you weren't getting through text that now when you meet them, you're like, oh my goodness, like I'm kind of smitten. And what would you do if you were like a little bit shy to take that step? You don't want to maybe like talk for a month because somebody could lose interest in that time right. period. But what if you're too shy to do that? Yeah. I, I just say step out of your comfort zone, you know, okay. really, really just step out of your comfort zone. That's what life is all about. It's, it's pressing through those uncomfortable situations then into a better, brighter future. It's, it's, you've got to press through. Okay. That, that's true with anything in life. You, you're press through. If you want to run a marathon, press through. If you want to work out, press through to achieve the goal. Okay, so we're to that point of the first date. Yeah. You know, what would it be a good first date idea? So, I, this is a great question because I get this all the time. I've had guys say, I'm so upset because I go on this date, I spend all this money, and then I never hear from her again. Or the girl goes on this date and it's, it's terrible. So I always say, listen, keep it simple. You don't have to spend a bunch of money to impress someone. You could just grab coffee and a croissant. I mean, it can be such a simple lunch date or frankly, you could meet at a park at a public place and just sit on a park bench and just chat. And you can find out so much information from that kind of a date that would lead you to, okay, now do I want a second date and do I want to spend money on this person? And, and then you start making an investment. But the first date, I, don't, I just do not recommend going on a huge, expensive first date. It's, okay, so it's, it's do just, something more personality and conversation driven. Yes. So thank you so much, Timmy, for thank all you. of that awesome advice. Bill?